जय गुरु जी जय गुरु जी प्यारी संगत जी सॉरी फॉर बीइंग लेट महाराज शुक्राना फॉर द सेवा मालिक संगत जी टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू बी रीडिंग गुरु महाराज जी इज ब्लेस्ड ग्रंथ द लाइट ऑफ डिविनिटी एंड वी विल बी रीडिंग द सत्संग ऑफ अ डिवोटी फ्रॉम पेज नंबर 55 लाइक द सन राइजिंग सडनली ऑन अ सडन लैंडस्केप इट इज नॉट विद इन माय कैपेसिटी और कॉम्पिटेंस to put into words the supremacy of my guru for how can i do justice in cold words to his colossal divinity however in a serene tribute of love and reverence for my guru i share my experience of supreme blessings with his approval the path we seek is not different from the summit of salvation the purpose of our being the journey from seeking to reaching this summit is a clinch for those who entrust their reins in the hands of their guru for we are not pathfinders but followers i was born into a chart sick family my family had to its credits happiness tasteful living good education and discipline throughout my childhood i have always been influenced by my grandfather a devout follower of his faith and of his master slowly the import of finding a guru dawned on me i was married into a jat sikh family my husband the only son after three daughters in his family was brought up with a lot of affection which he seemed to have taken for granted he learned to have his way to his negligence towards the family and the lack of responsibility towards himself can perhaps be attributed his fondness for alcohol his major problem it is a dream of every girl to be happily married and i was no exception but when a family is haunted with alcoholism nothing is any longer in anyone's control and worldly fetters and problems become insurmountable the burden of responsibility in my unhappiness soon disillusioned me during that time my grandfather visited me my inner turmoil reached out to him without words and he assumed i needed some help my eyes filled up with tears and i told him that i wanted him to pray for me to find a pudan guru a complete and perfect master however hard a mortal being may try she cannot find an enlightened master the master finds her when she is ready to tread his path shortly my mother took me to visit guruji in chandigarh from the moment i stepped into guruji's i could smell roses and the sight of him flooded my eyes with tears for the next few hours that i sat there tears kept streaming down my eyes many times after first meeting guruji i could not control the outburst of emotions and i simply could not understand why every time i visited him i experienced a peace that passed understanding it was as if the flood of tears was singularly transforming me by some alchemical cleansing in the meantime my husband began to drink more he lost all sense of responsibility and was conjuring money i tried telling him about guruji and also persuaded him to meet guruji he laughed at me saying such gurus were a dime a dozen and teased me about my conservative attitude he also did not approve of my visiting guruji around november 1999 my husband was posted to lebanon on a un mission there his drinking problem worsened and he was diagnosed with cirrhosis of the liver our world fell apart i took the first flight to be with him the doctor clearly stated that his liver had packed up and he would require a transplant within 2 years to find a donor in such a short period was a near impossibility even if the donor was found the transplant would have been exorbitant and in many cases unsuccessful doctors cautioned my husband that even a single drop of alcohol 
hen taken henceforth would prove fatal meanwhile my parents kept going to guruji and praying for my husband's life after being in the hospital for few weeks we came back to delhi i requested him to meet guruji he did come but all the while that he was there he sat in a corner and complained of how tired he was and how i had forced him to come the same night i approached guruji and was so full of emotion that i could hardly speak my mother and i prayed in front of him to save my husband and guruji replied how can i help him he is a non believer in the days that followed i would visit guruji alone because my husband would never accompany me one night after returning from guruji's place while i was fast asleep a sudden great force like a swooshing wind entered my room i was so scared that i sat up right in my bed and started saying my prayers with my eyes closed i experienced a white light piercing the darkness and flooding the center of my forehead guruji was within that white light he said he would cure my husband now in the 15 20 minutes that followed i spelt nauseating odors similar to those that inmate from operating rooms after a while everything cleared up and i went back to sleep guruji told me he had blessed my husband at the time of writing 6 years have passed since that day and my husband continues to drink relentlessly keeping in mind what doctors had said my family and i are amazed at how guruji is looking after him day and night my husband in in, in his own ways believes and recognizes the gift of life given to him by guruji the time tested scriptures of the world all agree that before man is born the day of his death is ascertained and that no one can grant him even a breath more however the power to burn man's karma lies with the supreme creator guruji is that cosmic director the manifestation of that supreme power who rewrote the play of my life my family and i have experienced numerous incidents where we have called out to guruji and have suddenly seen things fall into place as if touched by a magic word wand i once had the privilege of escorting more than half a dozen of friends to whom i had been singing the praises of my guru to meet guruji with my limited vision i prevailed upon them to not ask for anything though it was contrary to what i had done when i touched the feet of my guru he looked at me and to my astonishment said that every one came to him to ask for something like a divine mirror guruji apparently had caught the reflection of my mind and each of my friends was blessed and their desires fulfilled no one who comes near him ever goes back empty handed upon touching his feet a businessman might be blessed with prosperity a sick man with health and a student with knowledge some are aware of the gift they receive others ignorant of the hidden blessings he lo- his love knows no bounds an immaterial of whether you are a believer or a non believer his grace touches everyone he makes no demands asks you to keep no promises but slowly his divine presence weaves magic and transforms you from within every day people ridden with sorrow come in his presence and his grace illuminates their faces like the sudden rising of the sun over a sodden landscape thank you guruji shukrana malik for the seva while reading i must have committed lot of mistakes so with folded hands i request you to forgive me my lord and i seek forgiveness from all of you as well sangat ji jai guruji shukrana for the seva malik and shukrana ki aap unko pura bhi karate ho thank you malik shukrana